Me build on my silly PD deck? Yeah, for sure. Let's do it. Uh, you want to run it against a uh, I version of Brub? <laughs> uh, that would be Turtleist Brub. Um, okay, sounds good. Uh, we got four Frost Shamans, four Slingers, four Oath Sworn, um, and then two Tundra Charger. I guess I don't need to send you a list, Jaxic. I, I, we don't need to send each other lists at all. You can just click in the game. I mean, that's probably a good feature. Um, but your the whole plan is just turtle and unrelenting combos kind of well with like the chargers and the slingers and because unrelenting probably doesn't work if like all your units are like four plus health. But so we got some like this whole section of our deck is low health. I th honestly think this deck could like pop the hell off. So Jexix deck, if I understand is all about smashers and putting ice smiths under smashers so smashers come out of vine gates um and um so they so the or sorry the ice smiths come out of vine maze gates they're already equipped and then they equip on a smasher a smasher can have moto boots Nope, no motor boots just brutal force now motor boots is gone but smashers can be pushed by gunners and then you also have the sort of side hustle of scavengers um, reclaiming uh, parapets because they're good. Just one parapet, uh, reclaiming ice golems. Um, and you got one parapet because it's good. Your starting frost mage can live a long time. All right, let's see. What do we got? Um, four glory. It's probably worth four glorying on the first turn. Um, yeah, let's freaking do it. Uh, hopefully that unit dies. Um, we gotta be afraid of like getting destroyed by something dumb. Um, yeah, this is good. All right, let's attack. Uh, perfect. Kills itself just like we wanted it to. Um, and then the Oath Sworn, these are like the swingiest attacks, because like a good one we get plus four boosts, a bad one we get zero boosts, um, because they'll just like kill themselves. Um, that is definitely an influence, and we're stuck with this roll, so see what we get. And we didn't, the, the, um, Blood Bond is after attack, so we don't get to do it. Oh, I suppose I could have like pushed it into another attacking unit or something. Um... Uh, is it worth attacking the gate? Probably not. Um, I think I'll discard Brutal Force, even though it's very good. I think I'll hold the Frost Shaman, even though like the rest of my deck is equally as tanky. Maybe I discard a Frost Shaman in this deck. Maybe that's not as much of the plan. Sure. Since my whole deck is kind of like tanky, do what I want. Yeah, I mean, Frost Mage, worse than Frost Shaman. I don't know. But like, if we had... Would have been good unrelenting if we have low health units, so maybe they just do a little bit of damage to the Shaman or something. And I'm glad that we discarded because we got Brub, so maybe Brub could come down at some point. Glad we discarded the Brutal Force. Especially after watching Aaron's game in the on the tournament finals with Brutal Force, it really makes me like think about using it more. Because I kind of just always discard it. Oh. I think I'm missing some of the potential there. Yeah, let's... You go, girl, with that parapet, etc. Um, yeah, I'll probably just, like, play some really reckless units. Um, and then play Unrelenting. It's not that good. I could wait on the Unrelenting turn. Probably should, even. Um... Uh, this is decent, I guess. I wonder if I want to discard an unrelenting. Probably not. It's probably going to be worth at some point, right? Um, make this oath one kind of annoying for them, especially since they don't have melee units. Let's do it. Take that. Um, 
Take that for sure. Take that as well. This Frost Mage is kind of just to prevent the Shaman from getting ganked by melee units. Um, I don't care about that rule. Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to discard that Brutal Force, and we're going to hold Unrelenting and Brub. Uh, hmm, Targan's probably got to go away. Um, Charger... Charger and with these guys being damaged this turn could spell out a pretty good turn for Unrelenting. We shall see. Because Unrelenting, every time they kill a unit, it's a one magic, it's a two magic swing, and Unrelenting itself costs two magic. So if they kill one unit with Unrelenting, you break even. If they kill multiple, you're ahead. But did you already... How did you... Did you start this turn with the... Oh, you started it with an Ice Smith. I see, you're just getting rid of the Ice Smith. And... Is this thing going to be attacking Grognak or something? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, that doesn't quite work, does it? Oh my god, goodbye. I hate you. <laughs> uh, if the gunner goes there, it could work to have that attack Grognak. Yeah. So this is all about just like a smasher with two with two or even one ice smith can one shot your summoner like easy. No thing. That'll be pretty sweet. Yeah, you take that. For sure. Alright, uh, so... Yeah, it'll be a decent turn for Unrelenting. Like, it'll be a turn that we take. And nothing else. Uh, it sucks not to pop a unit there, but like, whatever. Um, guess we'll plop down over here. Um, maybe we want to hold this spot. Uh, looks good. Uh, attack phase, we will willpower. And let's go. Yeah, unrelenting has no range of anything. It's just big chillin'. Good. Perfect. And I guess we're probably going at Svara and not the Parapet. Because <laughs> otherwise this was pointless. Nice. Um, yeah, and let's discard Targan. We still have Shock, so still chance stand a chance here. And Unrelenting. Looks good. Yeah, now we finally have the Slingers for the Unrelenting, but that's fine. Three Frost Shamans, awesome. One second. All right, and the units are back in my hand. I looked away, but I can fathom what happened.
put a unit there. Um, Barab is not... I mean, Barab could, like, destroy their life. Could, like, destroy the, all of their gates over there. I don't know. That's not really worth it for Barab there, right? Um... Yeah, they're not giving us any units to attack with. So let's just go back. Let's just chill. And yeah, just drop that to be a little annoying. Uh, it'd be nice to get another, like, four glory or unrelenting with this hand. Um, do I want to drop another shaman just to cycle? Uh, cause I, I want to draw more cards, but I don't really want to discard these. These cards are pretty good. Maybe I'll discard the charger. Um, I don't really need the charger. It's real good with unrelenting and whatnot, but. Um, I guess we go with the five health gate over here. Uh, do we want to lose the charger? Charger could be really good. I mean, bro, the sooner rub the better, but like, I feel like we're going to get use out of this charger. I don't know. I'm just going to hold it. I'm just going to hold it. We can, <laughs> we can drop another shaman if we want to. Uh, I mean, maybe if I really am liking charger so much, maybe that's telling me that I need this deck to be more focused around them. Um, I probably should have discarded that charger. Ah, uh, yeah, the dagger is going to move in for the ice smith. <laughs> the ice smith has two boosts. You see, it spawned from the vine gate, so it already had a boost. Interesting. Uh, we're definitely committed to a very passive game here. I should probably get to Brub Magic if this is the life we're living. Uh, Dagger is going to pretty efficiently kill any units over there. I don't know if I'm going to keep putting a unit there in that case. I mean, hey, my Shaman's going to kill their unit pretty well too, so maybe it's worth it. Um... I don't know, and we probably did, since we've since we've lost the frost mage is kind of meme. -y. Since we lost Targan, it's not because it's only ever hit. It's only ever a two four, but I mean a two four is not bad, you know. Um, uh, I wonder. Okay, if we wanted to do something good, we could like replace this oath sworn with something else it's probably worth it um with just a unit that is expendable yeah i mean so now this shaman can miss but that's fine it, it literally hits every time Do we want to discard the charger at this point? Um, I mean, I really feel it like either unrelenting or for glory is coming up, right? Like, I feel like it's good to hold. I'm gonna keep holding it. We're gonna see.
Yep, and like charges are good at killing smashers and whatnot. That shaman's just vibing over there, I guess. Um, we don't really need to summon another oath sworn. One will do. Uh, let's just get Grognak a bit more in the middle of the pack here. Um, I don't know, we move this here. Looks pretty good. I guess that could be another Oath Sworn, but eh, I'll just save it. Oath Sworns are chilling. Yep, and this is a guaranteed kill. This feels like a wash so far. Feels like we are like just destroying everything they put at us. They're gonna really. They might have to. It might be more the assassination game they have to play for at this point. Um, might be their best out. Yep, four glory came, so that will be good with the slingers. Um, be great if we had an unrelenting too. I guess they would just die to four glory actually, so probably not. Hold on, I'll be back in just like forty-five seconds. I promise. <laughs> Uh, I'm back. What did I miss? Uh, they they might have killed a thing. They moved Sara, they moved Dagger, uh, and then they discarded a bunch of cards. Okay. I can deal with that. Um, yeah, this doesn't feel like the Four Glory turn, does it? Uh, I want to wait for like actual things to kill <laughs> that are good. And not bad. Yeah, let's just, just sort of retreat here. Bring up a frost shaman. Um yep. Just do some just do some trades, nothing crazy. Uh they might have a way into Grognak or something. I don't know. Do you want to influence that? Nah. It'll be worth more whenever we get Brub. Just, just obliterate them. Alright, that's fine too. Ain't no thing. Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep holding this hand. This hand's good. We are turtling forever. And eventually Brub is gonna kill you. And there won't be anything you can do about it. I need so six damage on average. Six is on average doing fourteen. So we need a target that is worth fourteen. That is like worth fourteen doing fourteen damage to. That might be Jarmoon if Jarmoon decides to sit somewhere that's kind of exposed. Uh, we will see. I really, I gotta go test how the new, like, Enigma, Enigma Sage Citadel Archer thing works. Because um, <laughs> it seems like as far as, he didn't actually re remove the move on button for an, uh, Citadel Archer, or sorry, Citadel Advisor. I'm curious if he did for Enigma Sage. Uh, Jarmud really has a death wish. Like, 
I can just kill Jarmude with some slingers. I don't even... I really wish I had a charger in hand, too. Then I could just really kill Jarmude. Like, I don't even know if Jarmude is worth doing the damage to right now. Our moon just seems super freaking dead. Is our moon somewhere else? I mean, spawning out. Of, oh, and our moon gets to uh, ice shards. Um, turn one because it came out of a vine gate. That's pretty strong. Uh, yep, decided against that, and we got a parapet now. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. They're looking at it just like, ah, this Jamun is just dead. Um, and I agree. He was looking pretty dead. Um, do we want to just Oathsworn to the Scavenger, I guess? Not incredibly good, but that's fine. We can take down this big gate if we wanted to with something. I think this is all right. Uh, get a re-roll on that. Yep, yeah, looks good. Uh, kill the scavenger. And we're still waiting just for like slinger value at some point. Sucks that the O Sworn dies immediately, um, but fine. I'm not too worried about this gate. I don't think it's worth influencing. Even though I mean the influence would be more damage. Um I guess the shaman attack is better than two. It's like about the same as two ranged dice, but like slightly better because you can go up to three. Alright. Yeah, we're <laughs> this is a colossal game of chicken right now. And I feel like it's a game that we win, but we will just have to see. Um, yeah, because we have four glory and like slingers to deal with one thing. I think I might want more chargers in this deck. More like just get rid of the frost mages and put in four chargers. Or maybe just get rid of one frost mage and put in another charger. Because they just seem they combo so well with like unrelenting and four glory. Like, you just get these nice burst damage turns. Like, the turns that you put down the low health units, they, like, can't possibly respond to. Um, that's how I'm feeling right now. I like the Frost Mage just because, like, it kind of combos with, like, Targan and whatnot, but... Eh, eh, like, without any more structures, it's not, like, really... You're not really going to pop up. I wonder if there is a Tundra Orcs deck. Like, the thing is just, like, Vine Gates don't do anything in Tundra Orcs, so, like... You really gonna do that, you know? Um, yeah, let's kill Blub. Killing Bub, Blub, population, me. Um, guy here, guy here. Oh, do we want to just leave Grognak fully exposed? Like, I'm not that worried about it, because, like, like, they don't have that much magic. Um, summoned Ice Smith. They've already summoned two of... They've already summoned three of their Ice Smiths. I don't really feel like Grognak's going to be one shot right now. Um, oh, if we had an additional attack somehow, it's not going to happen, unfortunately. I mean, the Frost Mage can attack the gate, but... Uh, all right. Five on blub. Shit. Um, I think we... Reroll that. Uh, all right, we spent one reroll on this so far. Uh, this could be bait. 
You know, like, give me at least something that does damage, right? Oh my god. There we go. Okay. So we spent three, we got two back. So uh, we were almost, like, super baited, but it's fine. Fortunately, Blub does survive, but so did our Sworn. So we're chilling. Hopefully we kill this. Thank goodness. Kind of wanted my guy to die there, but that's fine. Um, we have another attack. I'm not going to use it. Uh, it's not worth it. And... Do we discard the Slinger at this point? No, because we still have an Unrelenting in there. Awesome. And we have Shonk at some point. Yeah, this is definitely more of like a late gamey situation we're slowly walking into. Rebel pop, pop off eventually, I promise. Don't know when, but at some point. Oh, the this, this, this smith, the ice smith could have gone on the scavenger, so scavenger could have spawned there, and smith went behind it to give scavenger dice. I mean, so how, let's see, how, how many... How bad is a scavenger? How bad is that going to mess me up? Uh, attack on three, hits on sword, modify, uh, equipped with frost axe. Uh, fifty percent chance to do more than five. That's pretty good. Isn't that kind of the same as two? Doesn't 2 also have a 50% chance? No. 2 has a 50% chance to do more than 3. Wow, okay. No, that goes up drastically. That goes from 50% chance to do 3 to 50% chance to do 5. Wow. Uh, getting that Sand Scavenger value. Did, are there 4 Sand Scavengers in the deck here? Well, there's only 3 cards in the deck, but, you know, hypothetically. Uh, 3 Sand Scavengers. We've seen 2 of them, I think. Um, uh, okay, we know Jarmoon could come down at some point. We are wary of that. Sand Scavenger is going to eat at that gate? That's fine. Um, uh, yeah, and then we just sit here. Nothing to see here, I guess. We're just slowly grinding away. Uh, they could one-shot all my gates. We have another gate, so I'm not too worried. Uh, so we can discard this one. Good. Wait. Yeah, I think we're coming into this end game at a favorable spot. You know, we got more magic. We got two champions. They still got dagger. Dagger's pretty rough. Um, this frost mage is pretty useless without like a gate. Uh, so we probably do save this gate. Um, do we have another Frost Mage in there? No. Frost Mage is kind of, is kind of a meme. Um, I don't know if it's the play. We'll have to see. So Oathsworn can take down that Ice Smith. Uh, the slow advance. Every turn, Star moves the structure. <laughs> Just a little bit closer. Be afraid. Um, do I play the gate now just to get it out of my deck? Maybe I do. Oh, wait, no, we're not playing the slinger. Lamau, I don't have a slinger. You have a slinger. Uh, 
let's just go here. Do we, do we want to go there to occupy that? Like, if we're playing the gate there, maybe we do, but... Fine, maybe we do. For, for, if we're playing the gate there this turn. Um... More boosts on Grognak. We need more. Good. And we got willpower. It is boosts on Grognak are a limited resource. They don't just we can't just get them forever. This is a weird game where we've we've sort of just been allowed to do our thing, and our thing is to turtle and play units that are good value. See how well this works out for us at the end. Finally got willpower. Willpower would be great for a brub turn, but like I'm not doing a brub turn until I like have good value for it, you know. That still might be a little while. Like, give me a smasher, give me a champion. I mean, ice golem, maybe I could take that, but like, could just be one shot by a smasher or something. I'll have to see. It feels like I'm a lot happier pushing this to like the end game than they are. I think. We can just play the willpower. Gotta be great if that ice golem misses. Then we can have a willpower oath sworn attack. Then everything is chilling. We are very happy. Come on, this is huge. Darn. Uh, do we want Grub to just like kill both ice golems? Is that worth it? Both probably and probably not, you know? Okay, we summoned all the ice smith. Um, ice smiths are gone. Summoned ice smiths. Um, got another ice golem back from the discard. This would be a decent turn to just brub through both ice golems. But like... Is that really all that I can do with Brub? I can't do anything better. I guess not. I guess not. Like, and I guess that's fine. Um, and we can put the Slinger down there too, I guess. Seem very, seeming very non-committal about this, because it's just like, it's very easy to do anything else. Ah, fine, I'll take the bait, I'll brub. Uh, so brub is gonna do on average 14 damage, which would kill everything. I kinda like putting down the slinger just to make sure it kills everything. But at that point it's like, well, I should really save it for the unrelenting turn, shouldn't I? Um, and I could even put this frost mage in front of the scavenger and just like utterly rely on Grub to finish everything off. Nah, it'll still be good this way. I mean, Grub's gonna do a lot of damage, especially with the reroll, it goes up even higher. Um, we really could just rely on Grub. I mean, that is what we're doing, though, I guess. We are just relying on Grub. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, I could put the Shaman to attack too, but... Yeah, it's fine. Oh, I guess I have another move. Guess I'll do that. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Alright. We're coming on with Brub. Brub for real this time. I'll definitely learn whether I need to... Like, so we have 8. So on, on average this does a lot of damage, but like... If I should have been safer and just like left a slinger, that remains to be seen. Uh, but yeah, this is our big turn. This is our 
We brub for a bunch of value and force you to respond. Yeah, that was our iron will, so we haven't even used influence yet. Alright, so far we're doing pretty good with Brub. We've done 4 damage, 5 damage, and we haven't even used a reroll. Uh, it's going to feel pretty bad when Brub just like immediately dies, but what can you do? Wow. This is... I haven't used a reroll. I started the turn with seven boosts. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I get the feeling that I'm killing all the things. I get this strange feeling. There we go, that's a boost. God, Brub is so sexy. Can't even lie. And finally, wow, that was one boost, effectively two boosts with the willpower for 11 damage. That was busto. That was insane. Yeah, two boosts for 11 damage. Good shit. Hopefully we can kill this. There we go. Gonna have the unrelenting for the slingers. Um, yeah, it'll be good. We will iron will that. And we will accept that. I mean, because if they don't kill Brub, Brub's gonna counterattack with something vicious. Looks good. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that was insane, but I also I definitely underestimate Brub. Brub is pretty good. I feel like I need to just play a lot with Brub to just like get a sense for what's safe and what isn't, even though apparently, yeah, just one boost equal two damage, but like that doesn't really explain exactly how swiggy it is. Um yeah, Brub's gonna die, and maybe we lose. Like all we have is shock. That's it. <laughs> Are you You're gonna kill Brub, right? You have a Brutal Force or something? What am I missing? Yeah... That still doesn't make sense. Oh, then Sparrow attacks. That's still just 7 damage. Come on. 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 No! Gosh darn it! All 7? Seriously? 7 for 7? Right now? You had to do it to me? So mean. Alright. Alright. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Whatever you say. Um. Oh, the shaman can attack the smasher. Good. Uh, yep, seems like a pretty good unrelenting turn. We could definitely lose this game. God, was that really? That was just a 7 on 7 for, like, all the marbles. And they, they got the marbles. Like, they had all of the marbles. I'm gonna... This is, this is, this is what these are for now. Um, I guess we have Shonk, but, like... Really? I can't get higher than a 2? Now I'm gonna get lower than a 2. Alright, we'll take a 3. Oh wait, that was... <laughs> that's a 0. Uh, okay. I should have just taken a 2. Hey, we got a 3. Can we just kill this, please? Pretty please? <sighs> Fine. Let's take a 2. Wasting all these boosts. Whatever. Whatever. I'm mad. I'm mad because bad. Oh my god. 
play the card. That was almost really bad. Like, really bad. Thank goodness for the end phase confirmation prompt. Like, holy crap. So the unrelenting's good here, because it's all just like really low health units. Are there two Brutal Forces in this deck? Big on the Brutal Force train these days. Ice Ram is pretty garbage in this deck. There's, there's only one Glacial Shift. I feel like you run two. Like, I just don't feel like... Like, Sphara is seems like bad for deck building in the sense of just like... It just how do you not run two Glacial Shifts when your epic event is Ice Ram, right? Like... Yeah, going big on the gate here. Gonna beat me up. Alright, well we have to deal with Sfara at some point. And Sfara has a lot of health, which will make her difficult to deal with. Um, yeah, in other news, I forfeit. No, we're chilling. Uh, I'm just gonna not play that many cards. Um, okay, if that Frost Mage misses, no big thing. I don't know. Try to like play around the parapet. Please kill it. Just roll a special, you blithering idiot. You couldn't have done that last time? See, I'm tilted. I'm salty about the dice, and that's when. Summoner or stops going my way. No! I had an attack for the Vine Gate! What am I doing? Like, what? What am I doing? What am I actually doing? Oh my god, that's... Literally had an attack for the Vine Gate. I had a plan. I had a plan. I really did. I really had a plan. Do we send Shock into the Abyss? I think we do. I think once Dagger's dead, that's good. Um, I think Dagger being dead will help. And then it'll just be some boys against the world. Hmm. Um, let's start with... Let's start with Shonk. Because if we can just get a 2, okay. If we can just do anything, alright. Charger, Charger, Charger. I already know her! Alright, we're going to remember to attack the Vine Gate. This is a critical part of our strategy. There we go. Um, hopefully Dagger can't get to Shonk. No, they don't have Out of Shadows or anything. Fine. Uh, yeah, definitely. They've they've eaten through every one of my threats and then some. It's definitely going to come down to the very last few units this game. Yep. Use that parapet. Milk it for all it's worth. Wonder what the last card is. Don't really have any particular insights. All right. I feel like Grognak needs to advance, and yet maybe he doesn't. Like, what's happening here? Do, do I need to, like, pull the Frost Shaman up and, like, start gunning for it? Like, maybe? I don't know. I feel like this Frost Mage hides. For now, at least. Well, then, the, 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 then I feel like Grog Knight goes here and the Frost Mage goes here. No, that doesn't work. Um, okay. 
Hopefully the Slinger gets the kill. They might be out of units. This Slinger could be really sweet. Last card's like an Ice Ram or something. Alright, Shonk. Gonna need you to fucking pull for us here. We'll take it. We will take it. Um, yeah, I will attack my own gate. Uh, just to like limit the amount of turns they can just AFK. Yep, going at Shonk. I'm very impressed they managed to like out econ us here. I felt like we were in a pretty good spot um, with Brub and whatnot. But it hasn't gone our way. Uh, yeah, okay, so we do, do we need to start the great advance? Um, um, does it start with Grog? Does Grog just run? I don't know, I feel like they would have killed that slinger with a unit if they had one. Um, am I really just exposing Grog for no reason here? Yeah, let's not do that. How about, um, put the Shaman over here? That's all right. Uh, put the Frost Mage over there? There's no reason to do that. No, wait. Shonk is attacking Svara. Wait, so if I put that there then, like... Then I can move up with Grognak without feeling too bad about it. Because what's what's going to attack me? Um, yeah, I think this has maybe got to be the way of it. A uh, huge two on two. Let's freaking go. Great worthy roll. Eight damage. Uh, we take three. All right, let's see it. I guess we attack this gate. Do we attack this gate? Sure. That's that's all my cards. You know them. Oh, dirty. Very dirty. Uh, do we just charge up as fast as we can? I guess. Uh, do we attack? Do we go for more than two? Are we greedy? How greedy are we? We can do better than two. Two is slightly below average. Yeah, let's freaking go. Three. So wait, do we attack this gate or not? Um, I feel like the answer is we probably don't. Because uh, I'm not really going to want to like attack it and then expose Grog and like... I win on inactivity, though then again, I'm going to have this gate to inactivity. Sure, let's just attack it. I don't know. I don't know. I think I won't attack that gate over there. Though, so we'll have a gate preserved. Crazy endgame. Going all the way. Maybe we wanted Grognak to be, like, here? Or, like, somewhere that Grognak could move, like... Where did Grognak start that turn? Okay, I'm getting the impression that they don't have another unit. Could we have put Grognak there? We could have put Grognak there. And then we could, like, actually kill this parapet this turn. Um. Um. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> let's get up there. Right now. 
Um, yeah. I don't care. Kill my thing. You can do it. This is good. Kill my thing. Do your worst. Yeah, you probably kill the shaman there. Oh no! Well, no, we can still we can still attack with both Grog and the Slinger. That's just what it comes down to: Grog and a Slinger against the world. I guess so. I guess so. Well, I think we win this fight then. Oh boy, it's been well fought though. Um, and hey, like if that's another champion, maybe. They stand a chance, who knows? And we probably re-roll anything but a two here. Good shit. Good shit. I guess I should have attacked that vine gate. Eh. Eh. Well, that should be game. What a good game it was. Wow, very tight. Very tight, like surprisingly tight end game. GG's. Holy crap. <laughs> what a what a long game. What a slog. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm definitely a fan of this more turtly brub deck. Definitely plan to keep playing it. Ooh. Hey, <laughs> GG. What a game. That was, that was crazy. Um, let me know if you want to call, but no worries if you can't. Um, Oh my goodness, that was, I was so, I, like, I, I felt like I was just chilling, like I was winning all the value trades, and yet it still came down so close. Um, yeah, like you, you really pulled it there. Yeah, sounds good, let's chat. Um, hey, how's it going? Hello? I cannot hear you right now. You can't? Oh, now I can. Hey. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Uh, you are a bit quiet, but I can change that on my end. Let me see. It might... Yeah, I also have AC, I also have AC on second. right now. Okay. I, I just... Oh, maybe that's what the sound is. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I, I just boosted the volume, so... So I, I can hear you fine now. Um, All right, cool. Yeah, so um, I, as you can tell, I was, I was really trying to play around Brub for most of the game. <laughs> yeah. So I, so I don't even know when you had him. <laughs> but, I had him since, like, almost the beginning, I think. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, definitely in the mid-game, there was a time I was like, oh, I could use Yarmund and just come in and ice shards. And then I was like, wait a minute, that'll just make me die to Brub. So no, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Yeah, the yeah that tracks. Um, yeah, I feel uh, like a, this, my yeah. deck generally doesn't win long games, so that maybe was not the best way for me to go. But I don't know. And like the what really broke my back was that second unrelenting because I I could have had the magic for Yarmund if that didn't happen. That was my last card. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wondering if it was just like an ice ram or something. Um. No, it was Yarmond. I, I, so I only have one Glacial Shift, and I, I played it early just to be cheeky. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't really have much use for the Ice Rams, so I pitched them both. So, yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's really hard to build it, like, just not to run two Glacial Shifts, shifts in Svara. Like, yeah, I, I was experimenting with the Brutal Forces, and I didn't have many good opportunities for that either, because you just kept Grognak so far back. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I did use the one to, to go seven on seven on Brub. Yeah. That was it's, and and you didn't have any more dice or like if that seven or seven misses like you're in a bad spot. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I was hoping you'd go one for two on the scavenger and I'd be able to use him to finish Brub off, but yeah, that, <sighs> that I could have knocked him all the way over to the other scavenger, but yeah, he ended up with the charger. Yeah, and I guess that was a huge swing. I'm really just like I'm just very impressed that like he 
that your deck was able to compete at the long game with this. Like, I, I feel like I need to rewatch it to see like how 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 you were able to play that to go to late game so well. I think part of it's just the scavengers are helpful. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I only have one parapet, but I brought it back. You know, and then, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. The parapet at the end helped you a lot. Yeah, for sure. Although if I if my vine gate wasn't in the way, the turn that I attacked something, I could have hit it with dagger too. It might have been brub. I might have been able to hit with my summoner and the smasher and dagger, but the vine gate was in the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I see. Uh, on on brub, you could have or something. Yeah. 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 See, but this is like this is how I just <laughs> tend to play. Uh, tundra orcs that just like built it more towards that of just like grognax in the back and he's only gonna come out at the very end <laughs> when he needs to for value I, and i was laughing when you had that turn with four glory on your oath sworn and you kept missing <laughs> you ah, like one one. it's such a is that is that what like will you re-roll that to like just will you keep re-rolling oh yeah your definitely sword? you gotta re-roll till you get the two yeah uh, especially since you're only getting like one hit on it too it's like really disappointing rolls <laughs> yeah, they were so bad. But then you ended up getting a good one. Because it's not... And it was fine. It, yeah, I ended up... I think I spent I spent three and I got two back, so it was fine. And what? So, five five specials. You have a 50... You have more that... You have a 53% chance to get two. So, yeah. You, you definitely just keep rolling until you get it. Yeah. Um, and then you're just really mad if you get through, like, five. <laughs> and... <laughs> Yeah, my brub roll was insane there too. It was two re rolls for eleven damage. Like, yeah, I mean that happens sometimes. But luckily, I, I was, I was debating the second ice goal. I put him out because I figured if I did that, you wouldn't have anything else good to shoot at. And but you were, I mean, I did give you two ice golems to kill, so you ended up doing that. Well, like that's not. But, I mean, that's two two magic units. So it was hard for me to make that decision. Like, is that worth it for brub? Yeah. So. Uh, and then I and then I ended up killing him before he got to use all the boosts, which was nice. Uh, but like if I yeah, if I don't kill Brub on that seven out of seven, I'm definitely dead. But I figured I had to go for it. <laughs> yeah. You see where my vine yeah. gate's in the way. Like if I could move to where the vine gate is, I could summon the smash. I uh... have it hit him over to Mara and then knock it into dagger over there in front of the vine gate. So but my vine gate was in the way. You could. I see. So like what smasher Sfara dagger and then a brub gets knocked up here and then knocked up to there yeah i see yeah that would that'd be a lot better <laughs> yeah brutal force is really good i'm That's getting the lesson uh yeah like in base to i just always discard it but especially after watching aaron's uh performance with it a few days ago like i think i'm thinking about it the gears are turning brutal force Oh yeah, you don't have it in here. You have Unre unrelenting instead. Yeah. Right? Oh, you yeah. didn't have axe. What are you running? No, 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 event? no, no. I have brutal force. Um. Oh, you do. You just don't have I... axe because you have. Yeah, I don't have no. I don't have axe. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, I do unrelenting. I feel like I want to take out at least one frost mage for another tundra charger because tundra chargers feel really good. Like, oh, I mean, one with for glory, but also just for um for unrelenting like it's i really like that this deck it's like either the units are big beefy ranged units or they're low health units that can yeah, was, are going to kill themselves by the chargers yeah 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 but i guess yeah i mean they they're just good to get good blockers get in the way that kind of thing and with unrelenting you just get them back yeah yeah and yeah and like I, I guess my idea is I never, I never want you to actually kill them and get magic. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I want them to either kill themselves or have unrelenting up. Okay, that makes sense. Like with, with for glory. Yeah, I'm pretty sure frost shaman's a meme. I don't think it's good, but I'm gonna well, keep I one mean... in there. Oh, frost shaman. Yeah, frost. Oh, frost mage. No, sorry, frost mage. Hmm. <laughs> no, frost shaman's great. The frost i mean frost shaman is a meme but also good too bad yeah i don't know yeah. but um i didn't see targon come down that game yeah i think i i drew like targon and brub at the same time and it's like all right goodbye yeah i've had games where targon's the play though 
or like I've just discarded Brub and ended up using Targon for the range or like to yeah you know, do something. The back when I used to play Targon, but yeah, that's but that's now funny. I run different stuff. Yeah, Targon could have been. I mean, Targon might have been the play that game, honestly, because like especially with you playing around Brub. What if I just discarded Brub and just like play Targon or something? Just make make the part. You know, like what what's that? What'd you call that? The, uh... the squirm factor. <laughs> squirm factor. <laughs> just. <laughs> It would be really funny. And no, I'm still getting boosts and whatnot. <laughs> I thought about playing a deck, or I think I even tried it for a little while. I was like playing a brub like deck without brub. But now but now you know if someone has brub or not, at least in the deck. You don't know if they've discarded it, but <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. And like I guess that's a good change. Um it's probably a good change. That we get to see. I each mean, there's decks. probably some people who are upset by it who like to just get the surprise wins i mean i I might get fewer surprise wins with blub now because like blub and brutal force can be oh pretty nasty yeah sometimes. so i'm not thinking it's funny you say blub and i'm like wait do you mean brub no you mean blub <laughs> yeah I've got of blub course in my deck now. yeah bl it's blub shank and brub yeah blub seems but blub seems good for that i mean like when you played against me in person like i'm not i wasn't playing around it and i mean like even if it's like in your deck like even if I see it in your deck, I'm not going to be like thinking about it like every turn, especially if it's like not a async tournament final. Yeah, well, the nice thing with that and your chargers is that it allows you to summon two things from one spot too. So, yeah, yeah. I recently took Admiral out to put Blub in my uh, my the dork the deck I just played, and he seemed for, he seemed alright. Probably better than Admiral would be, although I don't know. Might be good to have the range. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Yeah, Blub, Blub seems good. That's my... But, that's uh, my anyway, take. it's yeah. been late for me. I should probably head out, but uh, it was a good game. And, um, yeah, I yeah, I don't know how good that... Even that concept is for my Polar Dwarf thing. is mostly just, like, a silly, fun meme deck. But um, yeah. trying to get big... I had a game I was... I like I hit eleven damage on someone's twelve life idea the other day, and that was hilarious. But I lost that game, but because <laughs> they had a war out, it was against like Gug, I think. Yeah. They had a war out, and I pushed a gunner in, or I used a gunner to shoot, and then push uh, a smasher in range. The smasher was ro rolling five dice with war. Yeah. And I got eleven damage, and it was just fun to see the two digit number pop up. But yeah. I feel like this. Make the deck yeah. Good? I don't know. I feel like this. This got to be potential. <laughs> like I don't. I don't. I don't know what it'll end up looking like, but like there's got to be something there. There's got to be some sort of deck. Yeah, the only thing is that Sanctity ru ruins it. You know, it's not like Brub That's that true. can go right through Sanctity. And a lot of a lot of decks play Sanctity, but yeah, it seems yeah. to be a big part of the what's going on right now, at least in a lot of the deck building decks. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Um. I'll see you. Yeah, I should probably go. But yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Thanks for um, playing. Yeah. Maybe maybe tomorrow again sometime. Yeah. I'll. I don't know, like afternoon or something. Let me know. Yeah. All right. All right. Bye.